You coming here? Let's see. <laughs> Are you happy to be on camera? I had a great run this morning with a bunch of ladies. It actually turned out to be more than I was planning, which is always good when you have more friends. I um, then stretched a little bit, got some work done in the gym, and now I'm heading home to uh, have some lunch and then rest up. Stanley! Hi! Hi. Look! Can I have a kiss? That's mommy! Oh, what's your, your car? What does yeah. your car do? This is brum, brum, brum. Brum. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Just like oh, that. So 
After lunch, I went and took a nap with Stanley. Then I read a little bit in bed until Stanley woke up. And then we came downstairs, I did a little bit of stretching, got the body awake again, and went for my afternoon run, which was 40 minutes today. Came back, um, Pat made me a delicious smoothie. It's actually in Chilean's new cookbook. It is amazing. I'm excited to be running a fall marathon. Uh, the mileage still probably won't be as high as we want it to be for a fall marathon, but we're running out of time to get the experience in to do a marathon. So I'm going to do a build. Um, you know, I've been able to hit over 100 miles a week. I'm trying, still trying to get up to that 120. Um, we'll see if I can do it in this build up. I'm excited. For this build up, I'm excited to test the limits right now. I'm just in a phase of building miles, not a lot of workouts right now, and so I feel really out of shape, but I know that the calcium on the legs is really fatiguing, and I know that that will pay off in the future weeks and months. It's been amazing to see my Garland teammates kicking butt setting American records. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it, Stanley? It's so cool. Um, you know, I know that last year, <laughs> And the year before, like Courtney and Shelby weren't exactly where they wanted to be. And they put in the work and, you know, they just put their head down and continued to work. And now it's really starting to pay off and they're starting to blossom into amazing runners. And I think they're only going to get better. That's something that's really given me a lot of hope and a lot of verification that I am in the right training group. It's going to be hard. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Um, and it, it's a process. And I'm doing things today that aren't going to pay off tomorrow, but that will pay off in future months and years. For my fall marathon, one of my biggest goals is going to be to finish the race with confidence and be able to have a good, solid last 10K. So to be able to run the race at a quick pace and then hopefully be able to even go faster at the end and to feel like I almost had a little bit more in the tank. I want to try to run, you know, the long marathon distance and, and get some good practice of running fast on tired legs. And that's kind of what this whole buildup will, will be about is running fast on tired legs. Stanley is almost at his one year birthday, which will be interesting because everyone does smash cakes and he hates desserts. So I don't know if I'm going to make like a blue cheese pie or a hummus, something. That's what he loves, but I would love suggestions for that. It's crazy because it's been, yeah, almost a year with Stanley. I can't imagine doing this without Stanley. Oh, look at that hand. <laughs> um, it's been just amazing to have him and have a little bit of perspective to come home and, you know, after tough workouts, um, putting in the miles and days and weeks of work and not really seeing it pay off. Immediately, yeah, we know it's gonna take time, right, Sam? I've also realized through Stanley, this is something he has no patience. And I look at him and he like tries to do something and he can't do it right away. He gets so frustrated. Yeah. Kind of like this. Um, and I look at him and I think, just be patient, it'll come, it's gonna take time to learn. And it's given me a lot of perspective and it's allowed me to be kinder to myself and allow myself to get that patience as well. I think he gets his easily stubbornness yeah. and patience from me. And you know, when I do it on him, through him, I notice that I can you know, be a little more patient and I can see how that can be beneficial. Thank you guys for watching my day in the life. Uh, I really would love for you guys to comment below some suggestions of what I can make Stanley for his one year birthday. Because he really, I've given, given him a cookie before and he literally has spit it out. So he doesn't like sweets, oh, he's made a mess. Um, so we need something that's um, not a sweet, but that he can make a just total mess in like a smash cake, but not sweet. So. Comment below some suggestions if you have them and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.